look at this dress from my 21st birthday. This was my outfit change. She was an iconic 21 year old. And this one was, this was look number one. Okay, I've been putting this off for weeks, and I even want to say months. But, we're doing this together. This vlog is going to make me accountable to make sure I do this. We are going to sort out this cupboard. Welcome to Roxy's closet. What I'm thinking is, is that I don't have enough space for all my jumpers. So, I want to clear enough stuff that I get rid of a drawer that I can put this stuff inside a drawer and then that can be another space for more jumpers. I don't really like that basket there but I don't know about that yet. Uh, all my dresses over here I want to hang them up so I can see them more clearly because at one stage I was double hanging but double hanging doesn't work because then when you rehang up you end up just taking a new hanger and not, re and not double hanging again so there's loads just like on singular, oh that one's not. So there's loads just like on singular hangers. So I want to sort that out. In shoes, I don't know yet with the shoes. I was gonna make some space for these, but I quite like the aesthetic of some shoes just out like that, you see. Okay, let's do this thing. We're gonna be harsh, and if I don't wear it, it's not staying. But this draws a bit of a mess, you know. So I know a lot of the things I don't wear hard in the back here. Oh, that's actually cute though. Why don't I wear that? Go that stay. <laughs> and I like this because this is actually quite sophisticated. So that's also going to stay. Stay, stay. This is already harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay. That can go. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I don't actually like bodysuits because they're just uncomfortable, I don't wear them, so that can go. This one, that can go. This, that can go. This one, can stay. That can go. Okay, drawer number one wasn't too bad. It needs a bit of sorting, but I will do that once I finish the other drawers so I can figure things out. Drawer number two see more jumpers so these can come out because we're gonna find somewhere for you to go just stay there for now and I wear all of these yes 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 what is that yes yes I like to wear that to the gym so that can be my gym gym pal I'm really bad at this that can go, that can go, uh, I don't know, <laughs> Okay, we've cleared a drawer and we've made this one neat. This is what I'm parting ways with so far and these tops, I still need to find space in the cupboard because, well, I kind of started there but I wasn't sure how I was liking that. I'm going to move on to the next drawers and then decide after that. What's next? Oh, my long sleeves. But look, more jumpers. Okay. Don't worry, guys. We're finding you a home. Just. You just stay there for now. Oh, that's also a jumper. Hmm. Okay, I don't ever wear this, so that can go. Out, out. I'm literally never gonna wear this. What did I say? What did I say about never saying never? Don't say that because I always end up. I mean, you just never know when you might need that. I've literally never worn this, but now I'm like, oh, that could look nice with like a pair of jeans. Long sleeve tops are going up a drawer. And then I could put the leftover fancy tops where I didn't know where to put them in the drawer with the long sleeve tops. 
We are entering the most ridiculous draw of them all. I've really thrown out all the shorts that I thought were in here. I'm so silly. I've got one pair to show you that are just amazing. These were my favourite guest shorts I've ever owned in my whole life. And they had this like, they had these like, they had these studs on the pocket like, these were, these were my shorts. That's why I can't bring myself to throw these away. Second shorts that were these shorts, these replay ones with obviously the studded stars. I think I bought these in Ibiza. I've already told you this already, but you know, my body's been changing, okay? And now I think, like, where the hell does your ass go? Like, I don't understand. I used to have the most iconic Topshop shorts, like, from back in the day. Which I thought we were in here and I was going to show you, but it turns out I've already thrown them out, so... Sorry. Okay, but here, well, hang on, we've got a little bit of iconic stuff going on in here. My stepmom owned zip code, and she used to make these skirts back in, like, 2010. And tell me these aren't coming back in now, but also, is that not just literally a curtain? Hey? Keep it for, like, in case I, like, have a fancy dress party or something. That's why I keep that. And then there's also just this other one, and does anybody else remember this phase? Okay, so here's something I'm sure every girl does. She has about 45,000 pairs of underwear, but wears the same three on repeat. This needs to go. Oh, but also, I didn't show you. Neat and tidy. Okay, welcome to the bikini drawer. <laughs> I know. Anyway. I can't, I can't bring myself to part ways with a single one of these bikinis. Um... So we're just going to move them a draw down, make this the, whatever this stuff is, draw. Okay. So now, socks. probably throw a lot of these out and then just like little bralettes and stuff are in that one but I mean will I ever wear this I'll be park probably not sorry to my family members but if your socks end up in my sock drawer they're getting thrown out is a box full of Lola stuff so this can go next to Lola's bed actually this is Lola's little bedroom I'm gonna do something so lame I'm gonna grab these clothes and I'm gonna put them there I'm not gonna lie I don't think that worked and this is still very messy because I actually I'm not going to do it now because I'm running out of steam. I'm going to put all the knits with each other, and then all the hoodies, etc, etc. But that's not a today's job. Billy's random basket of crap is a bit of an arsehole. So I'm going to move that under there, and then I need to figure out where I'm putting them beautiful shoes. We might as well have a look. Okay, that's empty. <laughs> I'm going to be devastated. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Those can go somewhere else. These, just give you the tiniest sneak peek. Those I actually got a really long time ago, like a few years ago now. And I'm saving them to wear on my wedding day. So I can't show you them. Um, do you reckon that I like Steve Madden shoes? shame okay we've made another space so I'm gonna put like more well, I don't know about my jorts but I'm gonna put my what are these called bicycle shorts but you know the fashionable ones not actual 
bicycle shorts. Got one pile here for my jorts because I'm ready for my jorts era. So you know what else is driving me mad? I need a full row of just crocs. I need a, I need a croc row. Mwah. I'm nearly done. I just need to sort out um, these dresses on these hangers. I do really want to like properly organize everything like like here for example this is driving me mad like I want all the jackets up top because now some have ended up down here all the shirts together all the t-shirt dresses together and then all just normal dresses together great angles Roxy <laughs> big bags full. I won't be selling any of my clothes. I'm a big, I want to say believer, but I'm going to rather say that. I really like the saying that charity starts at home. So for me, I really like to give it away to our ladies who work for us. Sometimes if there's a lot, I do split it up. Um, the last time I did a massive clean out, it was just after the flood. So I donated a lot of stuff to the flood. So then I what I did was I separated everything up, some for my ladies, some for people who were affected by the floods. And then one of our one of our other ladies actually likes to sell stuff and make a bit of pocket money. So if I've got like really nice stuff that still has tags on or like hasn't been worn, then I'll give her a separate bag of just that stuff to sell for a bit of extra pocket money and yeah.